What is happening everyone, back with another video. Today what I'm gonna do is basically take you through my lockdown routine. We're pretty deep into lockdown in the UK at the moment. Um, I live in Glasgow in Scotland, so I don't know how different it is down south or wherever else, like Northern Ireland, Wales. But up here, things are starting to ease off a wee bit, but I think people are just kind of doing their own thing now. Um, but I've been sticking to the rules mostly. Um, you know, I'm not gonna lie, I broke the rules here and there. At this point, I think everyone's kind of broke the rules. I've obviously I've, I've taken into consideration the rules. But you know, the, the odd time we've been, uh, <laughs> you know, let's just say we've not stuck to them completely. Forgot how hard it is to hold up up here. Heavy ass camera um, when you're vlogging, man. The gains are disappearing. The gains are disappearing. If I can't even hold up a camera for this long, then God knows what I'll be able to lift when I get back to the gym. Speaking of that, I have been training. Uh, my mate's gym, he's basically got all this equipment um, from back home and then he's bought a bunch of stuff, like really expensive stuff um, online and he's basically just made his own little gym out of it, it's pretty class. I've been going there every couple of days just to train, so I've been training like every two or three days, so not much training to be done but um, when it's a nice day outside I'll do a wee bodyweight workout in the garden but it's not really ideal for me doing bodyweight stuff. So actually being able to train with a decent amount of weight um, is really beneficial. I'm actually going there today to train so I'll film that. But yeah, hope you enjoy the video and let's get into it. Come to my zoo, I got animals. Eat a nigga like some cannibals. Nigga keep speaking in parables. I'm on the left moving tactical. Hop on the track and I bump. Scorpion take out a chunk. All these niggas act emotional. I fell in love with the funds. I think it's sexy and cute. Please, I ain't trying to be rude. If you want So now it's about 10 past 2, and I'm gonna head off in about 15 minutes. I'm all ready, I'm all set, got my monster. Um, but yeah. To be fair, I don't usually go this late to train uh, at this gym with Jordan, but um, he had some stuff to do in the morning and stuff. And uh, I'm just training on my own today, so he's just let me in. So I'm going about three today, but it's a wee bit different. Usually it's around 11, 12-ish I go. But it just meant this morning that I would be able to get some stuff done. Um, I usually do that when I come back, but this morning I managed to get it done before I went. So yeah, should be good. Jeez! What a nasty ass day fam. Christ. And by the way, yes, I've got tons of monsters here in case you've seen that. As I came in the car, I'm not going to, you know, hide the fact that I drink a lot of monster. Over here as well. Mmm. Oh yes. Multiple cans. Welcome to life. Where fucked up shit happens. So yes, this is the gym. Obviously this is not my gym, this is uh, two of my fellow PT's gyms. Melissa and Jordan. So I'm gonna put their Instagram right here. Very grateful for them letting me use this in the meantime because it is, you know, obviously all this stuff costs quite a lot and, you know, they're just nice enough to let me use it. So thank you very much, guys. Definitely go give them a follow. They post great content. So I live the life, choosing myself for the winning night, begging the Lord just to see the light. Now I stand on the stage as a bigger light. Big business, big business, big business, big business. Is that business? So later on in the day, like after obviously I've worked out, I've done my emails and all that stuff, I've got some things I'm kind of working on at the moment, keeping them kind of quiet at the moment, but you'll soon find out about that. But yeah, just working on those things, working on my online coaching business, replying to any queries or questions they've got. I usually just work on this till later, um, then I'll go out a walk, you know, have to go out a walk, most exciting part of the day. And then later on I'll just chill. Um, I'll either work till late or I'll chill and watch some Netflix, watch some videos in it or something like that. That's the process, that is the process. Obviously not every day is the same, um, but I would say majority of the days are pretty much like this. So in Scotland, the lockdown seems to be nearing an end. In the UK overall. So you know, you could think of this as a negative. I mean, I think everyone's viewing lockdown as a whole just ending as a positive people seem to have viewed this whole experience as a negative you know nothing like this has ever happened in our lifetimes uh, certainly in my lifetime you know but never would have thought that something like this would basically cripple the entire world into a state of panic and that we'd all be staying indoors not going to work for three months if someone had told me last year that i would not be going to work for three months all my holidays would be cancelled i wouldn't believe them for a second because it just seems so unlikely. You just never think anything like this is gonna happen and boom, it just happened within a few months. Um, the whole country was shut down, um, other countries were shut down. It's pretty mental to think how quickly this happened and how little we knew about it. The virus has been absolutely deadly. Hundreds of thousands of people have died. 
um, in a short space of time and the economy isn't looking too good either. Everything's just a bit all over the place. But doesn't mean we cannot take something positive from this lockdown. In my opinion, this lockdown, uh, not the whole coronavirus thing, but just the lockdown in general has been a good thing for us. Gives us a chance to kind of reset because I feel like the world everything's moving at 500 miles an hour and we're just caught up in the middle of it you know doing our jobs doing everything you know social life social media all all of this stuff just getting on with our daily lives you don't realize how fast you're moving until everything just comes to a halt but i feel like everyone kind of needed this in a sense it might have helped a lot of people uh, understand how it's lost a lot of jobs and all that and I'm devastated for those people but what I'm saying is I think that everyone can kind of look back and say yes it was devastating it was bad it was the craziest thing that's probably ever happened in my lifetime but I can take something good from it it's not been the best year but you know it doesn't mean that the rest of the year needs to be terrible either we can always look ahead and try and better ourselves and try and do something better with our life don't take as much for granted, you know, like the thing with me is I feel like I took way too much for granted before this lockdown. Like day to day things that I was able to do, eh, I didn't really think about it anymore because I was so used to doing it. But then as soon as it's taken away from you, you really realise how much you love those things and that how much you miss them. Like when you're not able to actually get on with the stuff you want to do. One thing that this lockdown's helped me with is allowing me to do things that I never thought I'd be able to do, you know. Never thought I'd be able to have time off. I mentioned this earlier in the video. Like this year I was like, oh, well, I'm gonna focus on my PT business, but you know, online coaching, it's something I wanna focus on, gradually build it. But I'm not gonna try and push it as much as I am the personal training thing, but it's completely switched uh, this year. Obviously when I go back to the gym, I will push them equally as much, but maybe that's a good thing because it's actually pushed me, challenged me, and made me work harder for it. And I like that, I like being in a state of kind of being uncomfortable, you know, I always feel like I get all my things better when I'm uncomfortable, when I'm put in an uncomfortable situation. See, when it's comfortable and you're stress-free, you don't worry about things as much, you don't work as hard because, you know, you're happy. I don't mean I don't like to be happy, I just mean I like to be in a state of kind of under pressure, under stress, to get things done. When everything opens up, I think there's gonna be a lot of restrictions, um, especially with gyms, you know, I work in a gym and I've been told that there will be like lots of restrictions that I'll need to, abide by and these are restrictions that the members will need to learn as well and we'll just need to be in it together and get through it but hopefully eventually we'll all be past this you know next year at some point um i think that all the restrictions will be gone things can go back to complete normality we'll be able to go on holidays again things will be back to normal it'll just be good that is just my prediction and i hope it comes true but yeah guys just stay positive remember don't let this lockdown bring you down let it motivate you let it push you and um, to do things that you never thought you'd be able to do you know like the, the things that you didn't have time for before the things you can do from home whether that be an online course learning a new skill something like that just make sure you make the most of the rest of the time while we're within this lockdown it will benefit you trust me and you will be happy with yourself because you don't want to look back at these months these three four months or whatever it is and think you know what did i really do i've just wasted four months of my life and yeah you can view it as a waste of time but at the end of the day we've had time at home to do things and to me that is very important one last thing i want to leave you on is just to say that when you leave this lockdown don't surround yourself with people that are negative about everything you know, uh, too many times, it's made me really realise now, you want to be around people that have the same energy as you, they want to motivate you, push you, they want to see you be successful. People that talk behind your back, they're too scared to say it to your face, they don't motivate you, they're very nice to you in person, but you know, behind your back, you've heard a few things. They're just negative people that do not want to see you succeed. It's just, that is bad energy to be around. When you leave lockdown, I want you to be able to surround yourself with people that you actually get something out of, you know, people that actually help you, you help them, you just better each other, trust me. That is one of the things that not a lot of people think about when it comes to being successful and stuff. Just surround yourself with good people that want to be successful as well. It's very motivating and it pushes you a lot and there's no point in having negative people in your life if they're just gonna bring you down. If you want to live a drama-free life, don't have negative people, trust me. Thanks very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna be uploading a lot more videos. Let me know in the comments what you want to see next, whether it's nutrition, workout based, whatever it may be. Go follow my Instagram, it's at the Jack Milton. Thanks very much guys, and I will see you in the next one.